Hello students, uh, my name is Mr. Forst here and I'm going to be your online instructor for Fresno City College here for CIT 15. This video is going to work for both of my uh, online sections that I'll be teaching this summer. Um, hey, to begin with, um, again, welcome to uh, City College, welcome to Computer Concepts. Okay. To get started, I, when you get to this login page at my T-Lab, I want you to click on the Getting Started tab here on the left hand side. And when you go inside there, I want you to go to where it says Set Time Zone and Change Student ID. From inside there, I need to have you do a couple of things, just a little housekeeping. One is to go in and put your real student ID right here, okay? So, of course, you, your ID number is probably not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, please enter your real Fresno City College uh, or your district ID number. And then down here, double check and make sure this says specific time uh, for U.S. Canada out here. Um, then go ahead and click on Save. It doesn't look like I did anything, but it really did an update and save, and then you can go ahead and close out that screen, okay? Now, to get started here, um, most of the time you're going to spend here is going to be in the Course Materials tab, okay? So I'm going to click down over here to Course Materials. Wait for this to come up. Do, 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 the screen refresh. Here we go. Okay, so a copy of the video that you're actually watching is going to be here on this main page all the time. And again, you can play it back as many times as you want. There's a copy of the welcome email that I sent you uh, last week. That's kind of how you got here. Okay. And then a copy of the course outline. Go ahead and click on that to open up the course outline. Here we go. Okay, now taking a look at this here, um, to start off with is breaking this thing down by week. So in week one, June 24th to 29th and stuff, uh, you should review the weekly announcements folder inside of this uh, MyT Lab. You're going to have a training and an assessment. You notice the assessment is highlighted in yellow. All the highlighted yellows are the assignment, homeworks, or test, exams, whatever. Uh, and so there's a Windows training versus a Windows assessment. The assessment is your homework, but you need to do the training or make sure you're comfortable enough with the training. Uh, that'll help you get successful in the uh, assessment. You also need to read through chapter one in the ebook, okay, and then take a quiz. Now, this seems like a really light um, first week, and by all means, it really is. But if you scroll down and take a look at week two, yeah, this is where summer school really starts to kick in. In week two here, you'll have four assessments to go through, chapters one, two, three, and four. So that means trainings and assessments. Um, again, their due date here. You'll also have a hands-on word test, okay, based upon those assessments. And then you'll have four chapters that you'll have to read in week two, as well as taking four chapter quizzes, chapters two, six, four, and five, okay? So yeah, this is summer school. It gets really busy. If you look at week three, same basic thing. Week four, I kind of chopped it in half, did some in week four and some in week five and then wrap up with your finals week here in uh, week six. Now in the finals week here of week six, you do have some PowerPoint assessments. There's only two of them. Watch a couple of little videos. There's um, no assignment to do with it, but basically take the final, okay? Now to scroll down here, just a, a little update here. Um, there are no summer office hours, uh, so expected email response time, usually within 24 hours, Monday through Thursday. I don't usually do the, a response on uh, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, so please keep that up, uh, in mind, especially since we have a lot of deadlines that are due Saturday night. I'm trying to encourage you not to wait to the last minute because I won't be available to help you um, resolve problem stuff on that day, okay? Okay. So be proactive, get on this stuff early. Typically, most of the assignments open up on Sunday morning at 12 a.m. and then it become due the following Saturday at 9 p.m. So you have basically one full week to get it done, almost. Okay. Uh, required for this class, uh, you're going to need to have a PC or a Mac. Um, if you're going to be using a PC or Mac, a Mac, uh, you will also have to have Microsoft Office 2016 for Windows. Most people who have Microsoft Office on the Mac does not include the Windows element, so it doesn't have a database inside there, um, and that would be a problem for you, okay? So you need to get access to it. Now, if you don't have a Mac or you have a PC and you have 2016 for Windows, you're good to go, okay? Uh, certainly, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's on your computer, your friend's computer, your mom's computer, or if you come in here to one of the labs here at City College um, where we have it installed, those will all work, okay? You need reliable uh, internet access? Yeah, that goes gone, okay? You'll also, here's your one purchase for the class. It's called a My IT Lab um, software. This link is the cheapest way to get the link. In your welcome email, it will have the actual code number to go with Fresno City College. So this one right now, I just left it generic with the question marks for this video. 
Here's some information about tech support here on campus, um, tech support from IT Lab, tech support for Fresno City College. Here's a direct link that would take you into uh, purchasing uh, my, my, uh, my, excuse me, Microsoft Office. Um, basically, you could just rent it for a month or two, whatever, to get it done because this is a, such a short class, so it wouldn't cost you very much to have Office, okay? Again, if you don't have it. Um, here's a link to getting started with emails attendance for this class. It's an online class, but I, I still have to take attendance, and I take attendance about whether or not you've completed your assignments or quizzes or tests for that week, okay? Uh, basically, if you're out and don't do anything for two weeks, okay, yeah, you're gonna get dropped from class. It's only a six-week class, okay? So please keep that in mind, okay? Uh, I have to deal with what's called no-shows, so the first week you have to get your My IT Lab purchased, and, purchased uh, and, and registered into My IT Lab by the first Wednesday, June 26th, okay? It needs to be a fully paid account by that Saturday, or you'll be dropped either as a no-show or you'll drop for the class for not having the materials. Everything we're gonna do in this class is going to be inside of my IT lab. Um, most important thing about summer school, time is not your friend. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Be proactive, get things done early, um, because this is, you don't have the luxury of an 18-week semester to spread things out. Okay? Anyway, uh, if you wish to drop the class, you can do so all the way up usually to the half deadline, which would be three weeks into the course. Okay? Copy of my grading policy, kind of breaks down what the assignments are and things like that. Uh, typically, uh, what we have are uh, trainings uh, on uh, Microsoft Window and trainings on Microsoft Office. The trainings will take you through step by step. They will give you learning aids to explain. There's sometimes videos and practices. I do not record any grades on trainings. They're there to help teach you a little bit about the software. Okay, then you'll be expected to actually do assessments, which will not help you, which will just give you instructions to do things and say, you know, instead of saying this is how you open a file, it would then on the assessment says, open the file, open the following file. Okay, so the assessments is what I'm going to be using to actually give you your grade for your homework for this class. Uh, Windows only has one assessment, so it's 100 points, but Word has four chapter assessments. They're kind of broken down to four parts, so I basically make them 100 points, but I divide by four, so it still ends up being 100 when it's done. So I do that for Word, Excel, and Access, and then PowerPoints is just a 25-point uh, set of assignments. Okay, uh, Quizzes are all pretty much 25 questions from each chapter. Uh, and then there's a hands-on test for Word, Excel, and Access. Again, each one of those are 100 points, but they must be completed using Microsoft Office for Windows. And then it's going to be one for Word, one for Excel, and one for Access. Okay. The final exam is comprehensive on the entire textbook. Uh, there is no hands-on exam, so it's going to look like a lot like the quiz, but it's 150 uh, multiple check choice questions for the final. Okay. There are no makeup or assignments for this class, uh, especially the summer school. You miss it, you get a zero. You have technical problems, you get a zero. Um, you wait to the last minute and things happen, you get a zero. So please don't do that for a summer school class. There is no forgiving in time, okay? All right, uh, again, the, uh, the, all the assignments uh, have due dates that are, I tried to highlight them in yellow to get your attention. When it comes to the trainings, again, you can do them as many times as you want. I don't record this as your homework score, but when it comes to assessments, I allow you to take an assessment up to three times, but I will keep your highest score, okay? Again, reminder, technical difficulties are not a valid excuse. Um, anything not completed by the deadline becomes zero points. There is no late work, so zero points, okay? If you're planning on cheating in this class, okay, please don't, okay? Um, things like you cannot use a downloaded file from another student, submit it as your own, um, that would be cheating, okay? So if you're caught cheating, you're either going to get flunked or whatever. You could get suspended by the college or removed from the college altogether. Just don't do it, okay? General policies, I reserve the right to make changes. Um, if you don't have access to a computer, there is a lab here on campus. Um, and then uh, if you need some assistance in the American Disabilities Act, that's all set for you as well, okay? Um, anyway, so that's the basics of the course outline. Now, if I come back here, go back a, a page basically, and take a look at just briefly week one. So it's like, oh, by the way, here's a quick link to purchase the or, or rent the Microsoft Office. Here's an FAQ sheet that might have some answers to some questions that might be helpful. Here's a direct link to the e-textbook. It's the same one that's over here off to the side, okay? So keep that in mind that if you, if you didn't see it here, you could do it there. It's the same link or whatever. So into week one, okay? Remember, I showed you moments ago what was in week one. There's always going to be a weekly announcements folder, and so you should go into that weekly announcements folder and watch all the videos, read all the announcements. They are not the same for each week, okay? But you'll eventually kind of get the, the hang of things. In particular, I put on hands-on video prep 
for Word, Excel, and Access tests, and so you'll really want to watch those videos. My point again is come back to that weekly announcement folder and make sure you go through everything at the beginning of each week. Okay? Here's a direct link to the trainings. You can take the trainings anytime for, for the entire class. You don't have to wait. So if you want to get in advance and stuff and start working on next week's stuff, you can do that right there. Assessments are done week by week, okay? So like here, this assessment isn't scheduled to open up until June 24th and will close down Saturday, June 29th, okay? Narrated PowerPoints are always there. They're kind of an overview of the chapter. They're not meant to replace you reading the chapter. You should go into the Tech in Action and actually read it. And then when you're comfortable before that Saturday, take the Chapter 1 quiz, okay? Now, um, finally, uh, over here, there's a grades tab. Now, right now, there's nothing in there. Obviously, we're getting started with grades. And you're going to want to function uh, focus on the custom view. The grades tab have it broken down by weeks, but the custom view will give you kind of a running total as to what's your grade so far. And what I'll try to do is update these, you know, every week or so, okay? So right now, these are all empty. But this would be your basically your grades to date. If you basically take the scores that you earn, divide by the maximum possible for that week or whatever for the total, that'll tell you what your grade is, 90, 80, 70 percent, so on. Okay. Anyway, I hope that's this has helped you. I'm gonna come right back here to the main menu, and that's where we got started. So have a great day, and I look forward to uh, working with you over the next six weeks of the class.